Hello, and time for some more Two Tips with Dr. Johnny Fisher. So, I thought I'd try out my Scottish accent today. See how it, see how it plays with the audience. If you hate it, just send me a comment. Don't give me a thumbs down, but if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. So, today we're talking about the flossing. And, flossing, you're doing it wrong. So, what are the main objections I hear from people when they tell me, ah, I'm not flossing. So, number one objection I think is, oh, it takes too long. Number two, it hurts, hurts my gums. Number three, do I really need to do it? Number one, it takes too long. So, I'm gonna teach you how you can floss your teeth in under 60 seconds. And I will demonstrate that for you, flossing my own mouth. Number two, it hurts. It hurts my fingers, it hurts my gums, my gums are bleeding. I just don't like to do it. Well, I'm going to teach you the techniques that are going to make it easier, predictable, so that you can do it every day and it will become part of your normal routine with no problems. Number three, is it really necessary? Absolutely. Here I want you to think of a mental image. And that image is, you've got a jar of peanut butter, take your hand, stick it in the jar, bring it out, and then the only way you can clean your hand is by scrubbing around it and you can't separate your fingers. You think you're gonna have any peanut butter left in between those areas if all you can do is scrub around the outside without getting some string or some floss or some yarn or something in between there? That's what the floss is doing for your teeth. You get all kinds of garbage caught in there and if you're not using the floss, you got things there in there that have been hanging out from your snack time last Christmas that are going to be hanging out in there. So we need to get those areas cleaned out. And the main reason that we'll want to get those cleaned out, clear out the bacteria so that we can prevent cavities and we can allow the passage of the fluoride in your regular toothpaste to get in there. When you're flossing, the most common mistake I see is that people are wrapping the first fingers when they should be wrapping the middle finger. Let me show you that. This is my favorite floss. It's called Reach. It's a, win it's a waxed mint um, flavoring. I like the waxed threaded floss better than the tape. The tape just doesn't quite have the fibers in it get to get as good to clean, but really use whatever works best for you. Okay, so you want to be taking about 18 inches to 24 inches of floss. Too short and you're not gonna have enough to wrap around and let it hold on its own. So wrap a few times around each middle finger just below, just above the second knuckle and you'll be using your pointer and your thumb, also known as your picker and your flicker, to be doing the directing of the floss. Start on the back teeth in the back corner with the very back part of that last tooth. Scrape that down, get in between, snap, scrape one side, scrape the other side and work your way forward on all four corners and then you'll be done. So we're going to see how long it takes me to floss my teeth. Now you're going to take a little bit to practice to get to where you're, uh, to where you're feeling like you're as fast as Dr. Fisher. But this is at least a demonstration so you can know how easy it is once you get a little practice. So we're going to start the timer and ready, go. Bit like watching grass grow, ain't it? And of course you can't see that, but it's 47 seconds. So, a um, couple of things that you might have noticed that I did in there, a couple of things like um, uh, every time I came out of one corner, I unwrapped and wrapped to get a new, um, I got a new section to work in. So that new section then is clean floss, um, it's not, it's less likely to shred, less likely to cause problems for you. So, um, and it didn't take that long. Snap up in, shimmy scrape one side, scrape the other side, and then you'll be good to go. So, um, a couple other tips for you to consider. Number one, I strongly recommend you be that you be flossing your teeth before you brush. 
the two reasons for that are number one it's most effective for cavity control if you're brush if you're flossing in between then you're brushing the fluoride has an easier time getting in between preventing the cavities that like to form in between the teeth that the floss is the only thing that can clear out these bacteria but then the fluoride gets in there and helps to prevent cavities in those locations the second reason is it makes it a better habit. It stacks them together so that if you're always flossing before you're brushing at nighttime, most people naturally are in the habit of brushing. So if you're flossing beforehand, it tags right onto that, just like piggyback, and it'll it'll make it so that you're flossing more consistently. If you wait till afterwards, it's less effective, and you might be more inclined to say, "Oh, I don't know if I need to floss tonight," um, and it may not be something that you want to do. If you haven't been flossing for a while, your, the gums are going to bleed for a few days. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Just keep at it and you'll be, you'll be doing just fine. After about a week or two, uh, you shouldn't have blood, uh, bleeding in many locations. If you're flossing day in, day out, and once in a while you get an area that is bleeding, floss that area double, double the amount and make sure you're brushing in that area well. That just means there's some inflammation. So hopefully those, these tips will be good for you to make you be an expert flosser so that you're keeping your teeth healthy, you're making the flossing a bit easier, you can do it faster and protecting insult to cavity. So flossing, now you'll be doing it right. So I wish you the best, take care and God bless.